This morning in our Pushing the Limit series, we introduce you to a group of young engineers who invented something life-changing. They entered a high school robotics challenge to help a little boy do something we all like to do, ride a bike. Jamie Wax returns to show us how they did it. How'd they do it, Jamie? I'll tell you, Gail, the team calls itself 3616 Phenomena. And no, these students didn't just run alongside the boy's bike holding him steady. They created a device that allows people with injured, damaged, and even missing legs to pedal themselves. And they got their inspiration from a little guy who just doesn't quit. Riding a bike is hard for James Bouquet. In addition to the typical trials and tribulations of five-year-old faces trying to balance on two wheels, James has to do it all with one leg. He was born in Houma, Louisiana, missing bones in his left leg. It had to be amputated, and since then, he's navigated his world with a healthy right but prosthetic left leg. On his bike, the prosthetic gets in the way, so he removes it, and the right leg does all the work. But that's about to change. About 90 minutes northwest of Homa, there is a robotics team made up of high school students from the Lafayette Parish school system. I've always said this when everybody was like, hey, what do you, what's robotics about? It's like everything you want to learn at school that you can actually use in the future. Mm. It teaches you work ethic, like how to cooperate with other people. Team 3616 Phenomena participates in FIRST, a global nonprofit that engages young people in robotics, including an annual competition. Our challenge was to create a device that can benefit someone's life through active play and movement. So then we got together, had a roundtable discussion, and we decided that we wanted to do something to help someone in our community. And that's when a little boy became their muse. The team got to know James because his grandmother is a biology teacher in Lafayette. One of our mentors told us that we could do an innovation and create it to help someone, James, who really wanted to ride a bike like other kids. So the team got to work, and what they came up with was a kit that, when attached to any bike, assists riders with damaged or prosthetic legs. Sensors along the bike tell a motor when it's time for a little boost. So this leg, it pushes, you use the muscles in your leg right here, but on the compromised leg, it'll, once you get to the point where you need to push, it'll, the motor will go for you, the low speed assist will go and help you make that round on the pedal where you can't make it. So it's just giving you a little assistance on, on the down pedal. Right? Yeah. The idea wasn't to create an electric bike, there are plenty of those, but a kind of robotic bike assistant for those who need it to keep both legs involved in exercise. You have like your very own robot that was made especially for you. That's got to feel really great. Better than two legs. Better than two legs? James hasn't yet tried out the kit. It's still just a prototype, but he looks forward to the day when he can ride just like other kids his age. Then you get to be special. Then you get to be special. Special than everybody. It's not just we're doing this to make things. To keep that in mind that you're helping a person, you're helping a little boy, you're helping people with lives and stories to tell. You open the door, you welcome people in, you help them, and I think it, it will come back to help you in the long run. I think James is specialer than everyone. 36-16 uh, yeah. Phenomena didn't win the first competition, but that doesn't matter. These kids are seeking a patent for their invention and plan to market it. They've always already developed a, a business plan and have consulted with a prosthetics company. A special group of people. Oh, what yes. a difference wow. for that one little boy. I'm specialer than everyone. I know. It's better than two better legs. Better than two legs? Uh, that, yeah. 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 And shout out to the Lafayette Parish School kids. I mean, the fact that they would do something like this for someone in their community. I mean, I wasn't doing that when I was in high school. I don't know about y'all, but no. I was, you know, no, this comic book. This entire program is uh, a success story for public education. It's fantastic. I'm proud that it's in my home state. It's in the birthplace of our David Begno and my wife yes. and my mama's family, the Rashus and the Simons. Yes, well, I, I made an uh, apron in home economics. <laughs> <laughs> we baked a cake. Those guys are really good. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. That was Thank a great class. story. <laughs> Thank great. you very much, Jamie. Uh,